Jorjito, hi, good night. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have missed you a lot, Jorjito. Really? <laughs> yes, of course. Where have you I been? Have, I didn't have problem with the internet connection. Ooh, Yesterday yeah. was raining around my neighbor. A lot, and, right? Mm -hmm. And how do you say tormenta electrica? Electric and storm. Electric storm. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh my God, really? Oh, and what, what is exactly the internet provider that you have? Yeah, I have a uh, Tigo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that causes problems, right? Yeah. But yes, did, a little. Did, did they fix it already? I think so. Hopefully, right? But if I go out, <laughs> it because the the modem is failed. Oh, hopefully not, <laughs> Rojito. But you know what? Even though you cannot be like right now, like you are, but also you can use your cell phone. Mm, I don't have uh, enough. Enough. Uh, oh, got it, got it. Enough like uh, internet thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Okay. The plan is a little bit slow. Oh. Low. Okay, I got it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm so glad that it's you could crazy. make it today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because today is really, really important. May I ask you, have you uh, checked uh, the video that we allow every more every night? We check the videos? Uh, sinceramente, to be honest I with you, haven't time because you haven't been time? I, I've been working with some stuff at the office. A little bit busy. Oh, okay. Yep. But do you have the link? My, what? Do you have the link? Yep, yep. Think of class. That would be my best recommendation because we have seen a lot of Jorjito. Uh, Hi, B, tomorrow, good night. I'm I going to check uh, every video that the class I misses. You missed. Okay, very good. You know what? Tomorrow we're going to be together, Jorjito. Okay. Yeah, the reason is because on, on Wednesday we couldn't have classes due to I have a family issues with my mom. Mm -hmm. So that's why they reprogrammed the class and we're going to have it uh, this Friday. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see you tomorrow as well. <laughs> so maybe you will be able to double check it maybe tomorrow night or um, on weekend. Yeah. Yes. But I'm so glad that but you are I, here. Yes. I working in the platform for it. Oh, you work in the platform. That's amazing. Do you have already a, do you have finished? Do you have any problems? Any questions that you might uh, have? We, I have a I have I know I didn't have a little problem with uh with some question, mm -hmm. but I already you already done it. That mm -hmm. excellent job. <laughs> I'm going to the midterm. The midterm, that's good. Excellent, excellent. Eric, if you have any questions for that, okay, you can send me a message, okay? No problem. More. Anytime, anytime. Okay. I'm not 24 7, but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I will try to do my best. You know what? I want to let you know that because I used to have a student, not right now for this class, but um, I've been a teacher since 2004. Can you imagine? So I used to have a student that I let them know that you can contact me anytime, and he took that advice literally, because he okay. was sending me a message around 11.59 p.m. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. I think he, he really needs some information. I was like, and he said, sorry, teacher, but I would need like, oh my God, it's almost midnight. And I was like, <laughs> and, and you know what? I do not turn it off. Some people turn it off their cell phones, right? But I do not turn it off my cell phones. I do not. Me either. Because, yeah, because, uh, uh, well, due to my mom's health right now, and also we have a lot of friends who have been a little bit sick and everything. So, and I also have another friend who sometimes it's like, he has an anxiety, he has some issues right now that he can call me anytime. So I'm like, oh my God. So I, I feel like a doctor sometimes. 
<laughs> but I, that's the reason why I do not turn it on. And can you imagine somebody contact you at eleven fifty something? That, that that day, I I get scared because uh, if somebody contact you at the time because it should be an emergency, right? Yeah. You're like, oh my! But it was it wasn't an emergency. <laughs> well, yes, for him, but not for me because it was just asking some questions regarding a topic that we have seen. It's like, oh my god. I will kill you and next and next day I say you know what I told you 24 7 but that is enough <laughs> you're like teacher I'm sorry I'm like yeah but please just uh because he used to have like um I think he used to work in a dinner state I think it's a restaurant I think mm -hmm. so and he has like a night schedule so that's the reason he sent me a message I had a time can you imagine oh my god <laughs> yeah but that was funny that was that was the, the first and the last time he said teacher i promise the next time we'll contact you around eight nine yes like a human hour please i let you know right <laughs> yeah you know what i think you're gonna be a lucky man today for hito because we have b here we have jesse we have nuvi and we have brie that means that you're blessed around girls can you imagine And beautiful girls, by the way. Mm -hmm. Nubi. Yes, that's what I said. Bless around girls. Yeah, exactly. Good night, teacher. Good night, night. Nubi. How are you? I'm good. Thank I'm you. So and you? I'm glad to hear that. You know what? Right oh. now, I feel much better. But early, I felt a little mom? bit sick. Uh, she's good right now. So far, she's good. She okay. has been a stable, a stable so that's I'm fine right now. But today okay. I think it has been like a really good. warm, right? Yeah, she's good. Yeah, she's it's good, good right now. And I do haven't yeah. feel so good today. I think it's because of my sinus problems, and it has been really warm today. So I'm like right now I'm swearing because it's supposed to be raining. I don't know why, but in my house it's really hot. Oof. But it's a little hot. Right, Ugh. and I, you know what, my sign and the hot uh, weather is they're not getting along well. It's because I, I think so, it's because it's raining a little bit. Yeah, then, I wish uh, it could be like a storm, mm -hmm. like that would be awesome because you can, you, yeah, because you can sleep really good, right? Like a baby. Ah, oh, yes, I love it. Thank you so much for asking, uh, Nuvi. Let's listen. Hey, Alex. I am sorry, but you're not going to be blessed, Jorjito, anymore. Alex has arrived a few seconds ago, so no way. Hi, Alex. How are you? <laughs> how are you, Alex? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you. You know what? I think Jorjito, too, because uh, a few seconds ago, he was the only man in the class. So I told him that he was blessed around beautiful girls. But you know what? He's not anymore because you are right. Okay. I held to the You had to share the group. blessing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yeah. You're great. Hey, I like it. You're wearing like um, an LA hot. What? LA hot. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Very good. Um, <laughs> okay. um, uh, um, use, use, be, uh, how do you call it? Hat. Hat. Okay, use the hat because... Or the cap. Uh, um, uh, how do you call it? You went to the hair salon and they did a bad, a bad work. No, no just kidding. <laughs> I <laughs> just uh, I take a, a shower. <laughs> And oh, you have took a shower. Oh, my hair. <laughs> and your hair looks like the Jackson Fies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, got it. So, so it, it's helping you like to, to put your hair in the right position, right? <laughs> Is yeah. that why you use it? Okay. Look at Bree. Uh, she looks so, so right. So relaxed, don't you think, guys? Are you laying on a sofa? Because last time it was on a hamaca. I remember that. No, I I was staying in the sofa. <laughs> yeah, in the sofa, yeah. That's what I was asking you. Laying, laying on the sofa. What? 
in my house is cold. Really? Yes. I, I, am a... <laughs> I wish I could feel it that way, to be honest with you. But here, I here love this in weather. El Salvador, for me, is it hasn't been enough cold. Yeah, I wish it could be like cooler or colder than that. My my here in El Salvador, my I think my preferred weather is like living in um, a a paneca, a taco, um, or what planets. else? No, no, those planets is even hotter for me. And uh, let me check what else. I was thinking of that. Yes, kind of that. Like, no, but more like San, like San Ignacio. Ah, La Palma. Mi, Miramundo. Miramundo. That kind of weather is the one. Uh, Pital. El Pital is the perfect weather for me. It's the it's perfect weather. Much cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I love hot, uh, cold weather because um, I think that you, it's easy for you to, to get a blanket, a sweater, a hot chocolate and or a cup of coffee and you're fine but when it's really hot weather you can drink like uh, a gallon of water <laughs> and you're still like not good so what do you think guys what do you prefer cold weather or hot weather cold weather <laughs> hot weather is the best no cold weather a it's cold weather uh, okay yeah but some you know what but some some of us like used to live like for example in a cold weather because there are some places guys that it is cloudy the most part of the year and there are some really weird times when you can see uh, for a little time the sun so you think that that's why european people like ireland or somebody like that they used to be like white skin <laughs> Yeah, because they do not receive a lot of uh, reflection for the sun. So you know what? When they when they have vacation, and of course when they have money, they prefer to like come this side, like Mexico, Costa Rica, or things like that, when you can receive sun. Because you cannot imagine how cold it is. <laughs> yes. yes. For example, in Canada, there's a part of Canada that um you must have um not an air conditioner if not like thermometer thermometer inside your house that can help you warm it up do you understand what i'm talking about yeah Calefacciones. yes exactly because you can you can death for hypothermia you cannot imagine how cold it is yeah. mm -hmm. So you have like climatization button that you can like switch for the one for you because to be honest with you, it's really, really cold. <laughs> yeah, it could be like 20 or 15 or 20. Oh yeah, 20 below zero. And that is not that good. That, that weather. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you want to be like that in that weather, I suggest that you live like six months in El Pital before you go there. <laughs> because you need to like get your body used to that weather in order for me not like to a chuck, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really, really cool. So I love- In, in, a, uh, paneca, in a paneca, it was cloudy. Ah, it was raining. Really? I died. Yes, I, yes I, I, I pass by, by there every day. Oh my God, Louis, you're so lucky. It's cloudy. Cloudy. Ay, uh, cloudy. Very, very, uh, yeah. ¿Cómo se dice? Cold. Cold, yeah. Cold. Cold. I didn't even... yes. Cold. Oh my God, I love, I love it. I love the, the flower root. That's amazing. Hey, we have a full house today. But you know what? Only Mr. Alex and Jorjito are here. Oh my God, they are blessed between girls. Yeah, I like it. Hey, Alex, have you already have your cup of coffee or after class? Let's see what he's going to say. <laughs> to be honest with you, we cannot hear you because your microphone is off. Thank you. Okay. You <laughs> no. It's 
today uh, I not drink my coffee because <laughs> that's why it's because, raining because uh, it's very sweet 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 uh, sweet dulce yeah and don't drink <laughs> oh so maybe you, you, <laughs> oh my god but you can prepare another cup of coffee come on yeah another in in when when they finish the class <laughs> are you see after class i know that for sure no i had yeah. um, um my chamomile tea chamomile you know what chamomile is chamomile no. manzanilla chamomile. Oh. Uh, manzanilla chamomile chamomile, chamomile tea yes mm, i love it it makes me feel relaxed oh it's, yeah yes. Yeah, it's really good. Well, you know what? I'm a person that used that goes to supermarket and try and have a lot of type of teas. Mm. I love teas a lot, a lot, a lot. But no seven as is because that is not good for me. I don't know why, but I don't feel good after drinking that. But I have roses tea. And what else? Jasmine tea. By the flowers. Mint, mint tea. Mint is fantastic, newbie, because it helps you with the, your digestion problems. Yeah. And I love to feel the fresh of mint. <laughs> yes, yes. It's really cool. Yeah. What I don't have right now is lemon the, tea. Lemon tea is nice, but I, you know what? I prefer the plant because I see. I think there's a grass, right? A lemon grass, right? Yeah. Sacate the lemon, gram, uh, gram, lemongrass, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I love that. You can prepare an amazing tea. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to find it, at least here in San Salvador. Can you find it there where you live? Uh, lemongrass? Sacate de lemon? No, only lemon. Only lemon? Oh, yeah. but lemon is good. But there the exists yeah. a cafe de lemon, exists. Yes. Here in El Salvador, but it's really hard to find it. Yes. It's really hard to find it. I think you can find it uh, if you go to a Paneca, for example, Santa Ana, or places like that. But here, mm -mm, it's really hard. What I do, Alex, is I, I just quit a Persian lemon, a half a Persian lemon, with a, yeah. a really hot, hot, but hot water. And then I add some um, honey. Yeah. And then I drink it. Oh my God. It helps you dream like a baby. <laughs> yeah. And it's a also, really good shot of vitamin C. Also add um say I'm a... ginger? Ginger. Gingibre. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I have gingibre. I do have ginger. I do have it with me all the time. Yeah, I love it. And curcuma as well. Oh, yeah. My, I, love my, I don't say the say it. What what kind of, of plant is curcuma? Curcuma is is it is a family of uh, ginger. It's family of ginger. Es un tuberculo, right? Like that. Una raíz. Yes, it's a family. So if you combine curcuma and ginger, oof, it's going to be really hot. Mm -hmm. But is a really good one it helps you a lot i i combine guys um uh, curcuma uh, oh well in english is turmeric okay turmeric mm -hmm. is in Tumeric. english curcuma is in spanish but um i i bought it from my digestion problems because i used to have i have a gastro problems right now but um it helps for many things what i do is i prepare a hot milk any kind of milk whatever you have then I add one teaspoon of turmeric or curcuma. I add um, honey, vanilla. What else do I add? Uh, canela. Canela. But, but in powder. In powder. No in rajas. You know, in powder. Oh. And uh, what else do I add? Oh, and that's it. And then like mix it up and then i drink it it's really really nice and it's really good and help and that recipe i love it because it helps to go down a little bit the strong flavor of the turmeric 
ayuda mucho a que baje un poco el sabor fuerte de la cúrcuma. No se siente tan fuerte. Porque because the turmeric of cúrcuma is really hot. It's really strong. It's muy fuerte. But it's really good. Y hasta ayuda también a lo que son las emociones y en la depression problem. Ayuda muchísimo. Oh, yes. You can look it up. Verás que buenísimo. Take a note. You take a note. Yes. So Miss Miss Bree went back to the coach. You know what? Hey guys, I'm going to give you some information about that. We're still talking, right? So that's what I like because we're still talking and sharing our ideas. Okay, do you remember that Bree? She was lying where, guys? Where she was sleeping, Bree, right now? Was she in the hamaca? Was she on her bed? In a sofa. On a sofa. On a sofa. Yeah. She was laying on a sofa. Laying on the sofa means uh, acostar de, se en el sofa, right? O como uno dice, ten, ten, laying, laying on. Laying. No, porque si tú dices lying, significa que alguien está mintiendo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So laying mm -hmm. on a sofa, that means, in otras palabras, está, uh, how do you say that in Spanish? There's a word that you use here. <laughs> What, Brie? No, 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 no. Eh, no, recostarse no. Es, no, es como estar tirado. <laughs> estar tirado en el sofá. Yeah, laying on the sofa. Pero, Brie, we have uh, an idiom. Tenemos un idiom, un, um, un, un dicho, que cuando alguien es muy aragán, sin ofender, Brie, sin ofender, porque no es por ofensa, just I will help, I will use your example, okay? Pero cuando alguien, por ejemplo, to do, doesn't do uh, too much exercise, okay? No hace mucho ejercicio, y va del sofa a la bed, del bed a la chair, del chair back to the bed, and then uh, back to the sofa, es alguien como un poquito arrogant, right? Yeah? So, you know what? We have an idiom, we have an expression that say couch potato. Cuando tú no haces mucho ejercicio y tienes así como medio aragán para hacer ejercicio, yeah? No te gusta hacer ejercicio. You're a couch potato. I'm a couch potato. Okay, so she, Bri accept her. I'm a couch potato, she said. <laughs> Oh, not before. Yeah, she's a couch potato. Very busy girl. <laughs> okay, no, I understand, Brie. No, but that's that is really good, I, right? I'm, You're I a couch two. potato? I am two only Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> I'm only two. So you accept that you're a couch potato. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All right, who else is couch potato? No, me. I love to do exercises. All right, please be honest. Who is a couch potato? No, Dinita, no. Nubi, no. Jesse, eh, Orjito. Only a week in a weekend. Only during the weekend, you're a couch potato. <laughs> 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 All right. Guys, there is another expression that we use, but it's not, nothing related to exercise. It's related to, for example, um, when, you, when you wake up really early morning, like when you're a person that wakes up like four, five, or six, besides Brie, the Brie sometimes wakes up at 11, right? Okay. But when you wake up really early morning, we have expression, I'm an early bird. Early bird significa madrugador. Early, porque está temprano, right? Y bird, porque eres un pajarito. Entonces, if you, if you remember, guys, en la mañana, ¿quiénes son los primeros que cantan? It's a little salt. The birds. The birds, exactly, Jesse. Exactly. So when you said I'm an early bird, significa que eres una persona madrugadora. Sí. Y cuando tú eres una persona que se acuesta muy noche. O oh, sí. O que se levanta muy tarde. I'm an owl. I'm a, oh, you can say I'm a late owl. See, un, un, um, how do you say that in Spanish? Uh, búho, búho tardista, late oval. Oval in English is búho. Exactly, exactly. Quiere decir que tú no eres una persona madrugadora. 
¿Sí? Entonces, cuando alguien dice ma Erdberg, si tú lo escuchas, ya sabes que está diciendo que es una persona madrugadora. Te digo esto porque uh, los americanos, cuando hablamos inglés, muchas veces usamos mucho abreviaciones de cosas, utilizamos mucho uh, idioms para expresarnos, utilizamos mucho um, uh, verbos como phrasal verbs, como get up, workout, something like that. Nosotros nos gusta um, simplificar más cuando hablamos. Por eso te digo eso, para que tú más o menos tengo una idea que cuando alguien lay all, early bird, potato couch, couch potato, ah, you know what they are talking about, right? You have an idea. Uh -huh. Talking about couches, guy. You, do you remember that yesterday we talked about apartments and houses? Sí, hablando de sofás. ¿Verdad que sí? All right. And yes. we were discussing, estamos hablando, eh, Jorgito, that um, so all of you lives in a house, except for Dinita. Dinita lives in an apartment. And we were talking, guys, about advantages and disadvantages of living in a house or living in an apartment. Okay. All right. And you put your opinion. And guys, I send you through the WhatsApp yesterday, I remember that. I send you like 10 sentences, right? So it helps you uh, get an idea how you can write your opinion when you are evaluating houses and houses, apartments and apartments, or when you are comparing apartment versus house or house versus apartment. And I think it's there, right? I sent it to you. But now guys, Before, and I know that I gave you a homework. To be honest with you, I haven't forget it. No se me olvidado, right? Mm -hmm. But not right now. <laughs> Just Nelson is like, oof, okay. But don't worry. We're going to share our homework later on. But what I want guys to do is do me a favor. Háganme un favor. Try to search, busquen the picture that I sent to the WhatsApp about the 10 sentences. Busquen la 10 sentence, la que tienen ahí. When you already have it, let me know. Cuando la tengan, me avisen, please. Do you have it? Okay, Carlitos. Jorgito, sorry, oh, Carlitos, Carlitos, no. Jorgito, sorry about that. When, because it's your, uh, your, sec, your middle name is Antonio, and Carlitos is Antonio too, so that's why I got confused. Me apologize. Alrighty, Alex, do you have it already? Yeah. Okay, Bree, Dina, Nelsie, oh. Nubi. Okay. Yes, me? teacher. Okay, cool. Everybody. Okay. Oh, why? Yes. Why I'm asking you that, guys? Because I know that you already have it. And what we are going to do right now is to like reinforce those ideas in a listening way. I will play for you right now, guys, a a listening activity, and I want you guys to pay attention not only to the pronunciation of the words, but also guys, mm. I want you to pay attention to how they uh, spell or they pronounce the whole sentences in order for you to help you with the fluency of your speaking. Because sometimes when they said as, as, or when they said to or enough, whatever, they join the words. And that will help you guys with the pronunciation part. I will, I'm going to play it like two times. And then on a third time, everybody, we're going to practice that pronunciation. Okay? That's what I want to focus on. So let me just a couple of minutes. I think I have it here. There you go. Yes, I have it here. Okay. And then I'm, we're going to share. I'm going to share right now my screen with you with the audio of the sentences. Unit three, time for a change. Mm -hmm. Page 16, exercise two, perspectives. Which would you prefer? Part A, listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? One. Apartments are too small for pets. Two. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Three. 
Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Four. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Five. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Six. Houses cost too much money. Seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Ten. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Very good. Guys, would you like it to play it one more time? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, second time. Unit three. Time for a change. Page 16, exercise two. Perspectives. Which would you prefer? Part A. Listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? One. Apartments are too small for pets. Two. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Three. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Four. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Five. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Six. Houses cost too much money. Seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Ten. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Okay, guys. So, you already listened twice, right? May I, before we practice the pronunciation, let me ask you a question. I just want to know which of the sentences from one to 10, which of the sentences are related to a space? Which of the sentences are talking about space? ¿Cuál de las sentences habla de espacios? Mm -hmm. One. One, exactly, because it says... Teacher, se escucha mucha interferencia. ¿Quién será el perrito? Oh. What about now? Se escucha ruido. Really? I do not listen to that. No. No? Maybe it's your is your computer because I I don't know I don't hear anything. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, okay, guys. So you so Jorgito said the number one, right? Because we're talking about that apartments are too small for pets. Mm -hmm. Very good. What is another sentence that is talking about space, guys? Besides number one. Mm -hmm. Number five. Number five, apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Very good. Very good, Alex. Is there Two. another one? Two. Two. Yes, Dinita. Because we're talking about that it isn't big enough, right? Big enough. Yes. Exactly, very good. What about guys? I think I think only that, right? A nine. Nine. Houses don't have enough closed space. Yes. Yeah, you can you can say that. Three okay, guys. Have a many rooms? Eh, yes. Very good, Anita. Exactly. You're right about that. So number guys, two. And number two, yes. Number two, yes, Nelson. Yes, yeah, that's what Dinita said. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Very good, but very good, Nelson. So may I ask you guys, I want to ask you something in related to the 10 sentences that we do have right now. And which statements do you agree with? Con cual de las sentences you agree? Which statements are you agree with? 
The statements, guys, son lo mismo que sentences. It's the same. Mm -hmm. ¿Con cuál de las sentences are you agree? I'm con todas. Really, yes, with all. With all, Nelsy? Okay. Yes, with all. With yes, all, Dinita? I agree with it all, yes. All right. What about you, Alex? What about you, Jorgito? What about you, Vanny? Vanny, good night. Yes, I, I'm true with all. With all? Yes. Also, you be and breathe. Yes. We, with all. With all, right? Mm -hmm. We all. With all. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Because we like said the, the advantages and the disadvantages, right? Okay. Now, guys, let's <clears throat> practice the pronunciation. Okay. Because if you listen to the audio uh, right now that we have just played, uh, there were some words that you join it, right? You join it, the, the idea, the, the pronunciation. So it's really important that we practice that. Okay, guys, we're going to go one by one, okay? It's 10. So some of you will, will say one, one sentence or two, okay? So let me start. In this case, it's not going to be ladies first, okay? No. It's going to be men first. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we only have two right now. <laughs> so, Jorjito, <laughs> you're lucky one. All right, Jorjito, could you please pronounce sentence number one for us, if you don't mind? Apartment are too small for pet. Very good. Uh, but do it me again. Could you please pronounce the, uh, the first sentence one more time? Apartments are too small for pet. Uh, one more time, please. Ash. <laughs> Apartments are too small for pets. Ah, much better. Very good. Apartments. Apartments. No, apartments. Apartments. Very good. That's why I'm asking you to pronounce again, because I didn't listen the S sound. Apartments are too small for pets. Say it one more time. Apartment, apartments are too small for pets. Very good. Good job, sir. <laughs> what about number two, Alex? Ah, he was okay. checking his cell phone. Um, <laughs> apartments aren't big enough for families. For Again, families. Families. Okay, do it okay. one more time, please, if you don't Family. mind. Okay, apartments aren't big enough for families. Again, please. Gosh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Apartments aren't big enough for families. Almost, almost, Alex. But it is enough. 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 So one more time, please. Okay. Enough. Apartments aren't big enough for families. One more time because you forgot the S of apartment. Go ahead. Hi, <laughs> <Aye>, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apartments aren't big enough. Big, big All enough. right, big, big enough, big enough. Big enough, okay. Apartments aren't big enough for family families. One more time, <laughs> without mistakes. In okay. Like, ah. <laughs> okay, apartments aren't big enough for families. Very good. That's my man, with your wife's permission. <laughs> All right, very good. Good job, Alex. I know, right? You will never forget big enough in apartments, <laughs> right? Very good. Excellent. Good job. And number three, Dinita. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Very good. Nelsie, number four. Apartments have just as many expenses as house. Uh, one more time because you forgot the S at the end. Go ahead. Okay. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Very good. I Now I listen to houses. Number five, Anne. Apartments don't have enough parking space. Uh, one more time because you forgot the S of spaces. Go ahead. One more time. Apartments don't have enough parking space. Very good. Spaces. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Number six, Jesse. Um, houses cost too much money. Very, I, that's the easy one, right? <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so number seven as well, please. Uh -huh. 
Uh, yes, number seven, please, if you don't mind. Okay. Hi. Hi. House, houses aren't. No, no, no. But... Yes, just yes, of course. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Very good. Houses aren't as safe as. Say it. As safe as. Uh, as safe as. Go ahead. Do it one more time. Houses aren't like. Houses aren't save us apartments. Eh, no. Houses aren't as save us. Houses aren't as save us apartments. Very good. Good job, girl. Ooh, feel right. <laughs> All righty. Very good. B, number eight. Okay. B. Okay, very good. Houses, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Close, close, but, but, but one more time. Convenient. No. So do it, do it one more time. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Very good. Good job, B. What number nine, Brie? Houses don't have enough closet space. Very good. Very good. And last but not least, number 10, Novi. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Almost, almost, but it's privacy. Privacy. Uh -huh, do it again. Houses don't have ha don't have as much privacy as apartments. Uh -huh, but try to do it like this way. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Do it. <laughs> Houses don't have a... <laughs> Houses... <laughs> Don't have as much privacy as apartments. Very good job, guys. Congratulations. Everybody did an excellent job. I'm so happy. You broke my heart. Yay, very good. I know that it was like, ah, right? Like Alex and Mr. Jorgito, like you had to like take a deep breath. Ooh, right? <laughs> I know, but you would never never forget that i promise you so now guys uh, it's time for us to share something really quickly and uh, let me check right now with you um, okay so now let me ask you something we're going to continue guys uh, working on on intonation and pronunciation but i want your opinion which one do you prefer to rent a house or an apartment and why I prefer a house. You prefer to rent a house. Why, Alex? <laughs> ah, because <laughs> come on. Fue una trampa. <laughs> no, no, because I said, which one do you prefer to rent? I said, a house or an apartment. And why? So okay. Alex said a house, but why? Use use the information that we have known so far. Because houses has uh, more privacy than apartments, such like that. Okay, uh, I I tell I'll tell you a one, a one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, apartments don't have enough green sun. Ah, very good, excellent. We're putting in practice the homework, right? Okay, excellent <laughs> job. Good homework. job. <laughs> Very good, Alex. <laughs> what about you, Dinita? Okay. Apartment as a privacy as houses. Ah, so apartment, you have privacy, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so in this, in her case, Dinita preferred to rent an apartment. What about yeah. you, Jorgito? You are in trouble. <laughs> uh, no, but to, to get in, in consideration the example that you have there on the on the WhatsApp. So they will give I you prefer an idea. Houses because have enough enough space. Because they are enough space. Very good. So in this case, Alex and Jorgito, <laughs> they prefer the houses because there is for them a space is really important. 
Like a, we, like a garden? Uh -huh, like a garden or rooms, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a huge family. But in the case of Dinita, she prefers or she's looking for security, for privacy, yeah? Things like that. Yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. What about you, Vane? I prefer house. Why? Because it's big and comfortable. And comfortable. So you say oh. that houses uh, are uh, bigger houses or more comfortable? Comfortable. Than okay. houses. Are you and agree with it? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Apartments don't have enough space for a party. Uh huh. For a party. Yes. She's a party girl, party you know. Where you know, you have... <laughs> <laughs> uh, where you... Happy birthdays. Uh huh. Yes. The the tea, right? And the holiday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Girls' night, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you can you can talk with Nuvi because I heard that Nuvi has a huge house. So you can talk with her and you can help hours on the on Nubi's house, right, Nubi? Uh, <laughs> and I, <not> prefer, really. <laughs> I prefer houses. Why, Nubi? Because apartments aren't quiet enough for the babies and children. Mm -hmm. Yes, they need to say like, yeah, you're right about that. Yes, because you have uh, neighbors on the top, on the bottom, on your right, and on your left, right? Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Well, if you don't have children, it's more convenient, right? But yes. sometimes, guys, it is convenient if we're talking about budget, right? Yes. Yes. Because, yes, you know, even though, guys, renting a house here in El Salvador, well, it depends on the area you would like to rent a house, but sometimes you, you cannot get as cheap as house as you wanted to, right? Yeah. Yes. Or if you have a cheapest house, it's only one bedroom, right? Yeah. Yes. Or at least two. Yes. So it's really, really hard. Yeah. Most of the people look for, um, the, well, the ideal house or apartment is the one that is close to supermarkets, shopping centers, or banks, or also to your work, right? But sometimes we need to live in a, a little bit far away from that because it's the apartment or the house that we find or we found according to our budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the reality. I know that for sure. Yes, here when I lived, I, they used to have like one or two and the red is no lower than 350 bucks. It's really hard to find you know, like 150. It's really hard to find it. And anyway, when it is ready, next day, it's occupied again. Yeah, because yeah, exactly, because it's really, really hard to find it. No, but my house is small. I preferred it because you know what? It's easy to do the cleaning <laughs> and all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Well, with pets is a little bit complicated, but yeah, it's easy. But, but you know, I'm I'm a, I'm the same way as Alex because for me, it's really important to have a yard. A front yard and a back yard, especially for my pets, because I have two dogs and one cat. So it's really, really important. Yes. What about you and Jesse or Nelsie? What about you? What do you prefer to rent? A house or an apartment and why? Nelsie? I, I can't we cannot listen to you. I think your microphone is off. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, for me, I prefer houses because have enough space for pets. Mm -hmm. The thing that we were talking about, right? Yeah. Yes. I know. Yes, exactly. That's what and I'm your looking clothes, for. And your clothes is uh, the yard. 
it's very the have has I know space for your clothes. Ah, yes, exactly. You're right. You're right, especially when you're when you like watch jeans, right? And something like that. Towels and yes. things. Yes, I know. But you know what? In my case, there isn't enough sun. <laughs> it rains <laughs> a lot. So oops, it's really hard for me to like my clothes get dry. Mm. So yeah. Well, but I'm trying to do my best. Do you have a cat? <laughs> I have one cat. Yes, boy and girl. No, girl. Her name is Sassy. Oh. Oh. Hey, <laughs> is the one that I put in my in my WhatsApp status. Have you seen really? it? Have you no. seen it or no? Okay, no. I, will, I will send it with you in a couple of minutes, okay? Oh. I will send it to you later on. It's my cat. Her name is Sassy. You know what Sassy oh. is? Yeah. Sassy in yeah. Spanish is like sabrosona. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 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 what is the meaning for us? It's like uh, a girl that is not complicated. That she's getting along well with everything. See? Oh. Una chica que se va bien con todo. O sea, like sassy. Really? Oh. Es así como una lady bien sophisticated. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. You know what? On Saturday, guys, uh, I'm going to send her to the vet. Vamos a llevarla al veterinario para que oh. haga surgery. Oh, really? It's sterilization, sterilization. Because yeah. it's better for her and yes. for us. I don't want to yeah. be a kitty grandma. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be a great kitty grandma. Yeah, because it's really hard to, to collocate the, ki the kids after that, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. so no. And for her as well, you know what? She has been like Romeo and Juliet. Como Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Because yeah. there's a cat that had approached to my house, like meow, meow. And I'm, you know what? Because this is the first time that I have a cat, a female cat. And um, she was like, uh, I haven't heard when the female cat, it is in a romantic way. And she was singer, or she was singing her favorite song, asking a, a, a male cat to come by, right? ¿Me entienden? Yo nunca había estado con una gatita que estuviera como llamando al gatito para que viniera a casa. But you know what? I scared. Me dio, me, um, me dio miedo. Porque me the too. Same, porque the I same have. day, uh, I took her to the bed. La llevé al veterinario. Took the hemogram para que le mandaran un hemograma. Yeah. And it was really hard. Because she was really stressed. So I thought, pensé, that something was, something happens to her. Que algo le dolía o algo le pasaba. Because she was like, Row! like that, like, <laughs> but the whole night. And she started at midnight and at 5 a.m. she was like, Row! like that. And I was like, and I told my husband, something happens to Sassy. Maybe she has a headache or I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? When we opened the door, she was like like this, like a sassy lady. Oh. Coming, yeah, coming inside my bedroom, entrando a mi, a mi cuarto, like nothing happens, mom. I'm okay. And she just <sighs> lay down on whiskey's bed. Se dormió en la camita de whiskey. And we closed the door mm -hmm. and nothing happens after that. But it was 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> she didn't mm -hmm. sleep all night. Uh, no. Because of her, yes, I have it. Mm -hmm. I have the same experience because uh, it's my first kitty, <laughs> my first cat, my first gata too, and la, la, the famous Brahma. Oh yes, <laughs> exactly. Know. Now you know, and now that I know as well. Oof, goodness. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, well, <laughs> going back to business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and after talking about pets okay very good yes you know what we're talking about pets because pets are part of our families right and we and it's really important for us or we take it into consideration when we're looking for an apartment or we're looking on a house to live in now guys that we have discussed about if you're going to rent an apartment or a house and the and what will be the the reasons why uh we're going to like Right now, guys, focus back on the pronunciation, especially, guys, of some adjectives that we have seen, 
Do you remember that we have seen comfortable, convenient, and things like that? Okay, there are some adjectives that we use to describe houses and apartments that they have vowels. You know what vowels are, right? Uh, um, vocales, vowels, yeah? And there are some vowels, hay algunas vocales that they are there, porque están ahí, but we do not pronounce them. Pero no las pronunciamos. Like comfortable, for example. ¿Cómo se escribe confortable? Oh, obviamente ya se los dije, ¿verdad? <laughs> confortable. Confortable, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad que sí? Confortable. Pero, ¿verdad que nosotros no decimos comfortable? ¿Verdad no. que no? Decimos comfortable. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, if you notice, guys, si se dan cuenta, if you notice, guys, eh, bueno, permítanme que es, no es con, yo no sé por qué me lo cambia, es con M, comfortable, comfortable. No es con N, es con M, comfortable. Entonces, vamos a pronunciar eso. Yes, Nubi, dale. Can you send us the pronunciation by WhatsApp? Eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Porque I'm going to put right now an audio, guys, that will help you with adjectives uh -huh. like that, adjetivos como eso, para que ustedes vean la pronunciation de some adjectives that you have vowel, pero que no lo pronuncian. Okay? Y después lo voy a mandar okay. por WhatsApp, Nubi. Don't worry about it. I will do it. Thank okay. You. You're welcome, Nubi. So, guys, let me share right now my screen with you. It will be, guys, a unpronounceable vowels like interesting, separate, different, average, comfortable, things like that. That helps us guys describe our house or an apartment. So bear with me for a moment. Let me see right now. <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. That's the one that I need. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, let me share right now my screen. Pay attention, guys, to the pronunciation, please. And then we're going to discuss it. Pronunciation. Can you see, can you listen, guys? Pueden oír? Yes, I listen. Okay, yes, cool. teacher. That's what I want. Unpronounced vowels. Yes. Part A. Listen and practice. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Okay, guys, you listen one more time. Now, what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to play the audio one more time, but this time I'm going to share with you the, uh, the words, right? Ahorita, ya, ya lo oyeron sin algo escrito, right? Y a, y a veces es difícil. Hoy les voy a compartir las palabras que acaban de escuchar y I will play it one more time. Sí, lo voy a poner otra vez más para que vean la pronunciation de esas palabras que tienen vowels, pero que en realidad no se pronuncian las vowels, ¿ok? Very good. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Guys, please, tienen, tienen, um, some words, guys, are two syllables. Some words are three or more syllables. So in this case, guys, I want you to pay attention on the stress part. Donde hay la mayor fuerza de voz on the stress part. And also, guys, how you avoid the pronunciation of vowels. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me know as soon as you're able to receive it, please. Cuando ya la hayan recibido, just let me know. There we go. There you go. I have it here. Okay, do you have it, guys? Yep. 
Cool. Okay, so once yeah. you have it, I'm going to play the audio one more time. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. Here you go. 18, exercise four, pronunciation. Unpronounced vowels. Part A, listen and practice. The vowel immediately after a stressed syllable is sometimes not pronounced. Average. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Okay, guys, let's practice the pronunciation, okay? <laughs> All righty. Carlitos, no, Carlitos, no. Come on, Jorgito. The first one, please. Can you please repeat it to me, the first one? Average. Average, very good. Alex, number two. Ah, he was checking his cell phone. D different. Very good. Bane, number three, please. Separate. Very good. Nubi, number four. Comfortable. Very good. Nelly, number five. Interesting. Very good. And the last but not least, Brie. Oh, Jesse, sorry, Jesse. Vegetable. Vegetable. Okay, very good. Se ven, ven cómo se pronuncia? Ven que no se, se escribe, por ejemplo, average, right? Pero si ustedes se fijan, no, no usan a. Different. Separate. Comfortable. Interesting. Vegetable. Right? De los que están ahí, chicos, do you have any doubts about the meaning of any words? Algo que no sepan? No. ¿Qué es average? Promedio. Exactly. Average. Promedio. So, talking about average, guys, let's put in practice that one. Uh, for example, guys, uh, in, your, in your downtown or in your neighborhood, El promedio de apartamentos o de houses, ¿cuántos, um, cuántos bedrooms tiene? For example, you can say, y, y lo voy a decir mi caso. In my hometown, the apartment ha, eh, has an average of two, of two bedrooms. ¿Sí? What about your case? ¿Qué tal en su caso? My apartment has three bedrooms. So the average, the average, average is the promedio. Porque tal vez two yeah. apartments tienen three, three uh, bedrooms. So I apartments get in four or five or two, right? So in yeah. your case, average is three bedrooms. What about you guys? Yeah. What about you, Antonio? Thank you, Dinita. In your, in your hometown, in to, or in to neighborhood. In my hometown, uh, the apartment average some two, Oh, three, uh, three rooms. Ah, okay. We're talking about rooms. Okay, cool. What about you, Alex? Um, in my uh, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Um. In average. Two, two, and two and three um, bedroom of average. Ah, okay, okay. So you said in average, uh, the house has like a two or three bedrooms. Two or three. Okay. What about you, Nelsie? Um, two and three, two or three. So it's that yeah. is an average, right, guys? Here in El Salvador, two or three. It's really weird that I have only one, right? Or four, of course. Okay, yes, very good. Now, guys, we finished this topic, but I, I think tomorrow I'm gonna share with you something really interesting because you know what. Here in El Salvador, we have uh, apartments and houses, but in other countries, there are different kinds of places that the people use to stay, not as an apartment or to live, not as a house, but to live, for example, let's pretend Basement. guys, uh -huh, like a hotel, something like that. Like, but there are some hotels guys that most of the people use only if they have, for example, if they couldn't take the last bus to arrive to the house, to their house, 
and they need to stay only the night. Uh, we're going to talk about, guys, some interesting hotels that most of the time they're, I think uh, another countries already have those kinds of hotels, but they uh, uh, begun in Tokyo, Japan, Korea, in Asia, basically. And we call capsule hotels. Any idea what they are? I no? Ah, you know what? Uh, they are si similar, but not the same. Have you have you seen the movie Armageddon, guys? Me. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you remember when the alien, right, and the and and the soldier, right? They uh, they won Mommy? like uh, like a prize, right? To go to a paradise, something like that, right? And they took the plane and tomaron el, 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 el aeroplano, yeah? Do you remember eh, eh, dónde estuvieron ellos? Como dónde iban en el, en el avión? Donde estaban dormiditos, por decir así. Donde iban todos los pasajeros. Eran como unas camillas, right? Que tú abrías y ¡fum! te metías, right? Tocabas un botoncito y... ¿Me da? Do you remember that? that yes. That's... Yes. Okay. So they, I, I'm letting you know that because they will give you an idea, an idea, what will be a capsule hotel, and that's what we're gonna see tomorrow. Okay, guys. You know what? Time passed really fast. Wow. Woof. I don't know about you guys, but in case of me, I didn't feel the time, <laughs> and now I feel fresh. That's great. So Alex, you are more than welcome to drink your cup of coffee man yes. <laughs> yeah okay guys <laughs> so hugs and kisses and i will see you tomorrow okay bye uh -huh. have an amazing uh -huh. night bye, bye.